Hey, this is Left Technical, and in this video, I'm going to use the sound player's um, sound location property and its stream property to play sounds. So, I am going to create a sound player. I'm going to call it player. And down here we're going to initialize it or instantiate whatever player is equal to new sound player and we're not going to we're going to use the default constructor and instead of using the constructor to specify the sound location we're going to use the sound location property to specify the sound location and I think, yeah, I have a string in my clipboard, uh, band of horses, the funeral dot wave. That is where the sound, uh, that would be my location of the sound, which is in the startup directory, so don't have to specify any paths. There it is right there, band of horses, the funeral dot wave. And I have um, a play button and a stop button on the form. So for the play button, we're going to say sound player, or sorry, player dot play. And for the stop button, player stop. All right, so let's see how it works. Okay, that's good. And the stop works. All right, now we're going to, um, load the music into the uh, player object um, using a stream. Uh, this is a bit more effective because you don't need to distribute the file with the executional considering the meta is within the executional. So we're going to go to the Windows Forms Application 2 Properties and we're going to go click on the Resources tab, go down to Audio, Add a Resource, Go into the debug directory. Oh, I'm sorry, this is something else. <laughs> Windows Forms Application 2, bin debug. Okay, we're going to import this song here. There it is, it's in our resource. Um, now, instead of uh, using the sound location to reference an external file, we're going to do player.stream, uh, I believe. And we're going to reference the data to be loaded it into the stream. So we're going to go properties, resources, band of horses, the funeral. Let's try it out. So it's going to play from the stream. So I could just go um, and delete that file because I don't even need it. And it will still play just fine because it's um, it's, in, it's a resource of the executional. Very nice. So that's how you can um, play sounds using the stream property or setting the st sound location property of the player. So this is Left Tactical. See you later.